Welcome to Excel in a minute. Excel is nothing short when it comes to providing users flexible functions convenient in creating dynamic equations. And in this video, we are going to show how to incorporate the sum, the index, and the switch function with the let function. The let function has the following arguments. Name. Value. And calculation. With these arguments, users can define a variable and indicate the operation to perform with the variable. On the other hand, the index function has two forms. Array form has three arguments, while reference form has four arguments. Lastly, the switch function compares a list of values, and it returns a result that corresponds to the first match, and runs on four arguments. Sample worksheet. We have here two lists of a year's worth of fruits. And we wish to find the total number of each fruit harvested from different farmers. With this in mind, let us build the lead equation by assigning product as the variable name. For the values, Jin's array starts from cell B5 and ends at cell D8, while K's array ranges from B14 to D17. Make sure to enclose these two arrays with parentheses so that Excel can read them as one argument. Thus, the equation starts with. Moving on to the third argument, let us use the three native functions. And the equation for this part would be. Wherein the reference arrays for the index equation are from cells B3 to D8 and cells B12 to D17. As for the row number, we will use zero to instruct the sum function to add up all the values from the specified column. For the column and area number, we will use the switch function. The first switch equation has cell i5 as the expression. Following this are the pairs of values and results. These instructs the switch function to return values corresponding to the expression. And the same goes with the second switch equation, but this time it has cell i4 as the expression. Putting the arguments together, the final lead equation is And there you have it, we now have the sum for each product from each farmer. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.